Hello, and allow me to introduce you to the Aura Funky Cat, also known as the Aura Good Cat. And when this Chinese EV arrives on our market later this year, it will almost certainly be the most affordable fully electric vehicle on our roads. But how affordable is affordable? Well, let's find out. And before we do, I wanted to ask you, we've got these cars at Coza Mugs, but we haven't made them in a few years. And I think that if we started making them again, that you might buy them. So let us know in the comments below. And if this goes well, we'll put them in our online shop. Okay, right, Dwayne, roll the theme song. Dream, search, drive. Cars.coza. 50 Clack knows that no matter what you've done for your country and the ladies, you can still get caught with your pants down. Don't feff around, just claim via WhatsApp and get paid out quick fast. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans. Founded in 1984, GWM has grown to become the largest SUV brand in China. The company sells well over 1.2 million vehicles per year under four brand names. It has 70 holding subsidiaries around the world. It has 14 different manufacturing plants around the world and 10 R&D centers in seven countries. In markets like Thailand, which is two and a half times the size of our new car market, GWM is the number one brand in that country. Down here in South Africa, we are very familiar with GWM, Great Wall Motors, particularly its sub-brand, Haval. Now, Haval has become a top 10 manufacturer in this country, actually top five, if I'm not mistaken, with very attractive, affordable products like the Jolion SUV and the Haval H6. And they're going to continue the onslaught of our market with the Tank 300 arriving later this year, which we recently featured on our channel. You'll find the link to that video up here somewhere and in the description below. But now, GWM is set to shake up the fully electric vehicle market in our country with the Aura Good Cat or Funky Cat. They're not actually sure what they're gonna name it yet. It might just be known as the GWM Aura. So Aura is one of GWM's four sub brands. It's a fully electric brand. And let me take you through the cars that they currently make. There's the Aura Black Cat, the Aura White Cat, the Aura Good Cat, as we know, the Aura, <coughs> the Aura Punk Cat, the Aura Lightning Cat, that's my personal favorite, the Aura Futurist, and the Aura Big Cat, which is an experimental electric crossover SUV based on the Way Macchiato. That's also a GWM product. It's actually, it's called the Macchiato. So, we, oh man, I love these names. Right. <laughs> Why did they call it the Macchiato? Oh. At the moment, South Africa is due to only receive one of those models, the Good or the Funky Cat, the same car, and GWM South Africa hasn't decided which of those two names it's going to go for. It might actually just call it the GWM Aura, but I'm interested to hear what you think is the best name for the car. What do you think they should go with? Let us know in the comments below, and I'm almost certain the good people from GWM South Africa will read through those comments. Now, in January this year, our intrepid journalist, Dave, Taylor, also known as Dave the Car Guy on social media, traveled all the way to Melbourne, Australia, that is a long series of flights, I can promise you, to sample some Aura products and the Tank 300, and he returned with some very useful insights and information, which I will now take you through by looking at my laptop subtly. Now, before we get into the nitty gritty of the Aura Cat, let's quickly look at the most affordable electric car currently for sale in South Africa. It is the Mini Cooper SE three door hatch. It retails for 745,000 Rand. It has a 32.6 kilowatt hour battery and it offers a claimed maximum WLTP rated range of 215 kilometers. Now, we've test drove that car, test driven it rather, and we think that probably your realistic range there is about 160 Ks in South African driving conditions. So very much a city car, not exactly built for road tripping. 
The Aura Cat is available in Australia in three variants with two different battery sizes. The smaller battery is 48 kilowatt hour and the larger battery is almost twice the size of the battery in the Mini SE at 63 kilowatt hours. The motor outputs are rated at 126 kilowatts and 250 newton meters and that means that the Aura Cat is good for a 0 to 100 km an hour time of 8.3 seconds. So it should accelerate like a scalded cat. As far as charging is concerned, you'll go from 10% to 80% battery in 41 minutes if you use an 80 kilowatt charger. Now, the WLTP range on both of these cars is quite impressive. The smaller battery, they claim a 320 kilometer range, and for the larger battery, they claim a very impressive 420 kilometer range. Again, almost twice that offered by the Mini SE. Now there is also an Aura GT available in Australia, which we might get as well, but it's just the long range Aura with a couple of different styling options, like different wheels for instance, and a couple of extra specs and features inside of the car. Now, generally speaking, the Aura Cat is quite well specced. All cars come a standard fitment with 18 inch alloy wheels. There's standard fitment touchscreen infotainment system. You've got adaptive cruise control right across the range, automatic emergency braking right across the range. And then the higher you go in the range, you get things like lane center keeping and lane keep assist, for instance. But generally speaking, the spec is really good. Right, before you get annoyed with me, let's get into the pricing. Now, I must point out that this is speculative pricing. We're using our Casa Cosa pricing crystal ball, and that's because GWM don't even have the pricing yet. They're still working on it for our market. So let's start with the Aussie dollar pricing and work from there. The most affordable Aura Cat in Australia retails for 44,000 Aussie dollars. Now today's exchange rate, that translates exactly to 537,000 Rand. But we've got to add that really silly 7% extra tax that the government levies on new energy vehicles and some extra shipping costs. And we are hoping that the most affordable Aura Cat hits our market at under 650,000 Rand. Now, if you want the much bigger battery, it's actually not that much more expensive. It's an extra 4,000 Aussie dollars at 48,000 Aussie dollars for their recommended manufacturer selling price down there in the South. And that translates to 586,000 Rand. It's a lot of numbers here. So we're hoping that with all the shipping and taxes and etc., that it comes in at around or just under the 700,000 Rand mark. Now, I've been lucky enough to actually see one of these Aura Cats in real life. I was very privileged to travel to Thailand last year and I saw a white one on the streets and I really, I must say, I liked it. I liked it immediately. It's a really cool futuristic styling. It sort of looks like a Porsche and a Mini had a love affair and this was the result. But if you don't like the Aura styling, well, I've got some good news for you. Back in 2018, BMW, which owns Mini, entered into a agreement with GWM in China to manufacture the next electric Mini. So GWM is developing the powertrain and the platform for the next electric mini. So I'm going to guess that the Aura Cat and the next mini are going to be quite similar underneath the skin, probably offering the same sort of battery size and electric motor output. Now that car will be known as the Aceman and it should debut globally in 2024 and possibly reach South Africa in 2025. Now, don't get me wrong, I fully realize that 700,000 Rand is not exactly the definition of affordable. However, consider that almost every electric vehicle in South Africa is well over a million Rand and the Aura Cat at about 650, 700,000 really does have the potential to open up fully electric vehicles to a much wider audience in South Africa. And I fully suspect that it will become the most common electric vehicle on our roads very soon after it launches. But I wanna hear what you think. Tell us what you think of the new Aura Good Stroke Funky Cat. That doesn't sound completely right in the comments below. Are you excited about it? I'm pretty excited about it. I love the idea of electric vehicles as commuter cars. I just wish they were around the sort of 
400,000 Rand mark. But hey, we're getting there. Million down to 700,000. It's a hop, skip and a jump down to 400,000. But yeah, super keen to hear what you think in the comments below. Right, and I also have an announcement. It's something we're super proud of here at Cars.coza. We've just reached a milestone. We have become the top automotive brand in South Africa that sells t-shirts. We're very proud of it. We're delighted to have the number one spot. Thanks very much for watching. Be safe. We'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Okay, bye. No matter how big or small your car is, you can still save 420 per month. Budget, the official insurer of good South Africans. Cars.coza.